Hi, welcome to the video Install IntelliJ Community 2024.3.4 on macOS With me, Nam Haming at Code Java.net In this video, I'd like to share with you the exact steps to set up IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition on Mac computers so you can get started with Java programming in detail I will show you how to download IntelliJ IDEA Installer for macOS and then set up IntelliJ Community version 2024.3.4 which is the latest release of IntelliJ as of March 2025 and you will learn how to create and run the first Java project a kind of hello world program using IntelliJ IDEA Now that you don't need to install Java Development Kit or JDK separately because the IDE can detect and use existing JDKs on your computers or you can install a new JDK right inside from the IDE So what is IntelliJ IDEA? You know, IntelliJ is an intelligent Java IDE developed by JetBrains company It is one of the most uh, popular Java IDEs widely used by many programmers around the world. IntelliJ IDEA is much smarter and more powerful than Eclipse and NetBeans IDEs. IntelliJ IDEA has two editions. The first one is IntelliJ IDEA Community, which is a free and open source uh, edition. Use it for Java desktop and Android development with Kotlin programming language. And the second edition is IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate, which is the commercial edition that means you need to pay uh, some amount of money to use the ultimate uh, edition use it for java web applications and frameworks development or java enterprise development and in this video i'm going to show you how to install intellij idea community edition and the official homepage is jetbrains.com slash idea Now let's download the installer of IntelliJ IDEA In the web browser, head over to the official homepage of IntelliJ IDEA at the URL jetbrains.com slash IDEA This is the official homepage of IntelliJ IDEA You see the IDE for professional development in Java and Kotlin and you can see the download button here You can scroll down to learn more about this uh, popular IDE now click the download button and you can see uh, there are two uh, editions the first one uh, IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and the second one is IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition ok and you can see the system requirements for macOS here you see it requires macOS version 12 or, and later 2 GB free RAM 3.5 GB of hard disk space ok now I need I want to download IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition so I click the download button right here and you can see uh, there are two types of installer the first one uh, for Apple Silicon and the second one for Intel so you need to check your Mac computer for example my Mac computer running on Apple chip Apple Silicon Silicon Apple M1 so I need to download the uh, DMZ installer for Apple Silicon yeah okay okay save the file okay and it's now recommended to verify the file SHA-256 checksum right click here open link in new tab and then you can see the SHA-256 checksum of the installer file Download is in progress. The file size is about 900 megabytes. Quite big, right? Just a moment. Okay, then the download is complete. Uh, do not uh, run the installer right away as uh, we should verify the integrity of the downloaded file. Click this folder icon to show the downloaded file in Finder window. And on uh, macOS, uh, we need to open a new terminal to get the SHA-256 checksum of this file. So open new terminal and change the uh, current directory 
to the download directory where the file is start change to download directory and then you can see the file here and to get to file check check some of this uh, file we can type this command dash a two five six and then the file name Okay, you see it prints the SHA-256 checksum of the specified file and we need to compare with the one published on the website here. Okay, let me check. Okay, both are the same, both are identical. That means I can safely uh, run, open the installer. Okay, then I can double click the installer here and the installation is quite simple. That's no, drag and drop the application to applications folder here drag and drop okay then it has been installed successfully and then you can see uh, it is in the launch path IntelliJ idea CAE for community edition okay and if you want to put a shortcut on the dock here you can open go to the applications folder in uh, finders here yeah, in finder applications IntelliJ here yeah, and right click right click and click um, make alias and rename and that's rename to IntelliJ okay and then drag and drop this icon onto the dock Okay, and I have shortcut on the dock, and then you can access and launch the IntelliJ idea by clicking on the icon shortcut on the dock or in the launch path here. So I click the IntelliJ idea icon on the launch path here to open the IDE, and when asked, are you sure you want to open it? Click open. Okay, here we go. IntelliJ idea user agreement. We need to. Uh, agree click i confirm and click continue here we go you see this is a welcome screen of IntelliJ idea uh, skip import okay and click the rear button here settings to check the version uh, sorry click gear button and click about and then you can see IntelliJ was in 2024.3.4 community edition and uh, runtime open the dk 64 bit you see okay close now let me show you how to create and run the first java project using intelligent idea community edition on the welcome screen here you can see the new project button click Okay, you can choose Java project, cotton project, or Groovy. Here, enter the project name. <laughs> project name is Hello World. Location, default location under Idea Projects directory. And you can choose the build system IntelliJ Maven or Gradle. I use the default one provided by IntelliJ Idea. And under JDK, you can see it uh, automatically uh, detect available JDKs on my computer. Open JDK 23.0.2. Uh, if you don't see a uh, JDK here, you can click the download JDK button here to download and install uh, JDK onto the computer right inside the IDE. Very convenient, right? Okay, uncheck here. Not uh, want to add sample code. Okay. And click the create button here. Okay, here we go new project has been created hello world AI assistant okay okay it is a java project with IntelliJ build system this is the src folder where you write your code put java uh, class files here right click here new java class and enter the name as main main class here we go this is a java class and 
Pymen and it suggests uh, to correct the main method which is the entry of a Java application as you can see here and I specify the package name for this class package net dot code java thing package is live folder directory structure to organize your code files okay and in this okay you can see arrow here click yeah, and move to the right package and then you can see it moves the main class uh, to the right package net dot code java here and in the main method I type as out to bring a string to system output okay hello one java okay and then we can run this uh, very simple hello one java program you can see the play button here click and you can see the context menu run main or debug main choose run main okay you see it prints hello world java into the standard console here so this is our first java program using IntelliJ idea let me modify the text here hello world java from IntelliJ okay and then I run again you can click the rerun button here to rerun the program and this time it prints hello world java from IntelliJ that's it you see how to create and run the first Java project using IntelliJ IDEA on Mac OS. Okay, so that's my guide about installing IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition version 2024.3.4 on Mac OS. So you can get started with Java programming on your Mac computer. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.